basi nataka unisaidie kukaribisha mnenaji wa Mungu ambaye ataongea neno la Mungu kwa niaba ya Mungu amen ambaye God has prepared him is our spiritual father is our bishop our pastor the apostle in the house nataka upatie Yesu makofi ya utukufu shangilia bwana Yesu Asante kwa kuja kanisani. Thank you for coming to church. Na ukiwa umesimama chukua Bible yako kwako. While standing you may take forth your Bible. Ah uh, tunaenda kusoma katika kitabu ya Luka. I'm getting the book of Luke. Uh, chapter yake ya 5 mstari wa 18 mpaka 20. Chapter 5 verse 18 to 20. Then we are going to read also the same book pia tosoma andiko hilo tu la Luka uh, uh, chapter 15 verse 11 to 24 mlango wa 15 kuanzia 11 hadi 24 let me read in my version Luke chapter 5 verse 18 to 20 some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a mat and tried to take him into the house to lay him before Jesus when they could not find a way to do this because of the crowd they went up on the roof and lowered him on his mat to the tiles into the middle of the crowd right in front of Jesus when Jesus saw their faith he said friends your sins are forgiven now let's go in luke chapter 15 verse 11 to 24 it's a long reading jesus continued continued there was a man who had two sons the younger one said to his father father give me my share of the estate so he divided his property between them Not long after that the younger son got together all he had set off for a distant country and share and there squandered his wealth in wild living after he had spent everything there was a severe famine in that whole country and he began to be in need so he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country who sent him to his field to feed pigs he longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating but no one gave him anything When he came to his senses he said how many of my father's hired servants have food to to spare and here i am starving to death i will set out and go back to my father and say to him father i have seen against heaven against you i am no longer worthy to be called your son make me like one of your hired servants so he got up and went to his father but while he was still a long way off his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him he ran to his son threw his arm around him and kissed him The son said to him, "Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son." But the father said to his servants, "Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf." and kill it let's have a feast 
and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and he's found. So they began to celebrate. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless your word. We are empty. And we want you to fill us with your wisdom. So that we can make it in this life. And one day to be together with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may have your seat. We continue our message. Uh, where we are talking when God speaks his own change. And we have learned a lot in this journey. Uh, as now we are in fourth point. Which speak the power of positive decision. But if you remember where we come from. Our point number one was the magnitude of the problem of the Israelite face in Samaria. Uh, in Samaria. Samaria. And the second point was the attitude of the king in hard time. Uh, point number three was the words released change the season. And and point number four is the power of positive decision. Uh, why all of this? Why are we learning all these things? Because even when God speaks, uh, God will allow season to come in our lives. He will allow some bad days, some things to happen to us. Uh, to prove our faith in him. Praise be the name of Jesus. And our first reading which we have read in the book of Luke chapter 5 verse 18 to 20. As we are talking about positive faith. No, no, we are talking the power of positive decision. And if we can go back to that scripture, some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a mat and tried to take him into the house to lay him before Jesus. When they could not find a way to this because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on his mat through the tiles into the middle of the crowd right in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said friend, your sins are forgiven. If we understand the scripture okay, it's a situation which happened in the days of Jesus. And these people had their brother or their friend who was sick. And they knew Jesus is able to heal uh, the problem uh, of, their, uh, of their friends. But in the coming to meet with Jesus, they found obstacles in the way. But they knew Jesus is able to heal our, our brother, our friends. But they have to do something for what they came from to come true. The power of positive decision comes through when you have done your, your own your self evaluation the power of positive decision comes through 
When you have done your self evaluation wakati umefanya uamuzi uliosaa when you do your own evaluation you umejichunguza wakati umejichunguza your condition your situation your problem hali yako na vitu ambavyo vinakuzingira you have to evaluate your situation lazima ujichunguze you, you have to evaluate your problem lazima uchunguze uh, tatizo lako how big your problem is je shida zako ni ku kiasi gani and why are you going uh, that situation na mbona unapitia hali hiyo you cannot make any decision wewe ukafanya amuzi lolote until you evaluate your problem hadi uweze kujiangalia sana here we are talking about positive decision nazungumzia kuhusu atua chaguo lililo sawa it mean a decision which will take you out of your problem maanisha ni ni atu ni hali ambayo itakutoka katika shida zako a decision which will take you out of that problem ambayo itakutoka katika shida hii you can you, you you will not come out of your problem na hautatokea shida hiyo until you do your evaluation hadi ufanye uchanganuzi why i'm going to the situation mbona napitia hali hii what i did for me to be in this condition je nilifanya nini nikafikia hali hii because i said the other day kwa sababu kuna wakati nilisema your situation today hali yako sasa is the outcome of the decision which you took some years ago ni matokeo ya maamuzi ambayo ulichukua miaka zilizopita there's nothing which has come in your life hakuna kinachokujia katika maisha you are living the way you are living unaishi jinsi unavyoishi because of the decision you took some years some months ago kwa sababu ya hatua ulizochukua miaka iliyopita when you want to come out of that situation so ukitaka kuondokea hali hii when you want to upgrade your life ukitaka kuinua maisha yako you have to know i am living in this condition lazima ujoni naishi katika hali hii because of the way I'm, i used to do things kwa sababu ya jinsi nimezoea kufanya mambo but if i will do better than the way i'm doing now nikifanya bora zaidi ninavyofanya i will upgrade my life nitainua maisha yangu but change doesn't just come like that lakini mabadiliko hayakuja you have to do your self evaluation lazima ufanye machanganuzi ya kisaa of your problem and situation ya shida na hali yako which means your mind inamaanisha akili yako must be at work lazima ifanye kazi because th- you cannot do ev- you cannot evaluate something wewe ukafanya machangamuzi without using your mind bila kutumia akili your soul must be involved pia nafsi yako lazima ihusike and your heart must be involved na moyo wako pia lazima uhusike your mind akili yako your soul nafsi yako and your heart na roho yako your mind speak about your capacity of thinking so mawazo ama akili nazungumzia uh, uwezo wa kufikiria for you to come out of your situation niposa uondokee hali yako for you to live a better life than what you are living now na wishi maisha leo sawa zaidi na your mind must be involved mawazo yako lazima yahusike why i'm living below my expectation mbona naishi chini ya matarajio yangu what i'm doing je nafanya nini what are the routines of my life nina tabia gani katika maisha for you to experience change you have to your mind must be involved ndiposa uone mabadiliko lazima akili zihusike hello you cannot just see change like that wezi tu kaona mabadiliko kivyo hivyo pana mtu ambaye ananyelewa are you understanding for you to experience change you have to wake up ndiposa ushuhudie mabadiliko lazima uamke your mind mawazo yako your soul nafsi yako and your heart na roho yako you have to wake up them lazima uviamshe because we have people who have dormant minds kwa sababu kuna watu ambao wako na akili zilizolala they don't want to think too much hawataki kufikiria sana that's why we have people who take beer and they will ex- they will ex- uh, explain to you ndeposa tuko na watu ambao watakunywa pombe wakitarajia 
I went just to take two bottles so that I, I might deal with my mind. I'm thinking a lot of things. I don't want to think about it. I have a problem. I have a situation. And it's troubling my mind. I have to take some, uh, some drugs so that I may not think about that situation. Because these people they don't want to use their mind. They don't want to trouble their minds. But my brother, my sister who are here in this place, you cannot change your condition. You cannot change your situation until you allow your mind to think about that problem. Because when you think about that problem, you'll find a solution to come out of it. But when you drag yourself, your problem remains there, the same as it is. And when you come out of your, your drugs, so your problem remain there. He's looking at you. The things of God doesn't just happen like that. That you are going just to sleep and things happen in your life. No. He gave us intellect. We are created in his image. God is a thinker. He could see the world and the way it will be. That is the power of thinking. Before he brought it, he saw it in his mind. Our maker is a thinker. And we are created in his image. Anything which you cannot see in your mind, you cannot bring it to the reality. Whatever you cannot see in your mind, you cannot implement it. But we are created in His image. He is a creator. And He called you to be a creator. You have to. to you have to see things in your mind which are unseen to other people and to bring it to reality. And this involves your mind for you to seek changes. If you are tired with the life you are living, if you are tired with your condition, your mind must be at work. That's what I've said. You have, you, for you to see the power Niposa of positive decision, Niposa nimesema, uh, ili you must wake up your mind. Wa mshe yako. Your heart. Roho yako and your soul. Praise be the name of Jesus. And I've said your mind so, uh, yako speaks of the power of thinking. Nguvu za the power of reasoning. Nguvu za kutafakari. Any dormant minds kila kili isio fikiria, should not expect change. Hello? Hello? If your mind is dormant, doesn't think, you have a problem troubling you. But in Apofika, when it comes in the night and you want to sleep, you take these pills, uh, you take three piriton. piriton. Because you don't want to think. You don't want to mind about your problem. You take piriton and you sleep. It means you don't want to see change in your life. 
Do you take Periton before you go to bed? It means you enjoy your problem. You have to allow your mind to trouble you. Hello? Hello? Your soul yako must be involved. Lazma it's your soul which connects you to your desires. So ni nafsi ambayo inakunganisha na tamanio zako. Your desires are in your soul. Matamanio yako katika nafsi. Hello? Whatever you desires, chochote unachotamani, it's in your heart. Yako katika nafsi. The life you desire, maisha ambayo unatamani, the husband, the wife, the family you desire, it's in your soul. Because your soul connects you to this visible world. Hello? Hello? Your soul, nafsi yako, your soul, inakunganisha na ulimwengu halisi attaches you to a physical world. So, so when I talk of physical world means there is a spiritual and there is the physical that you are in. Whatever you desire so, are connected to the physical world. The car you desire the car you, 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 you gari ambao unataka so the car that you are desiring Nyumba ambao unataka the kind of a house you Muki ambao unataka the wife mume ambao unataka the husband familia ambao unataka the family you it's want it's not connected it's not a spiritual things sio kitu cha kiroho they are physical things ni ni vitu vya kihalisi whatever you desire in this life so chote ambacho unatamani katika maisha haya are in your soul zo katika nafsi when you wake up your soul so wakati unaamsha nafsi yako it means you know what you want inamaanisha unajua unachokitaka you know where you want to live unajua unakotaka kuishi you know where you want to spend the rest of your life ile ambapo unataka kumaliza maisha yako mahali unataka uishi where you want to live muna nipata i understand it ninasikika vizuri sana am i audible your mind mawazo yako Ndiyo mahali ambapo unajiuliza kwa nini ninaishi hivi? It's a place where you Kwa nini niko napitia hii shida? Why am I passing through this? Utajijibu wewe mwenyewe kwa sababu unaweza so, kuevaluate maisha yako. You answer yourself kwa sababu unaweza kuchanganua maisha yako. Now, wakati unaamsha nafsi yako. So when you awaken the soul, because you have a soul, you have a spirit, you have your mind. Kwa sababu wewe ni ni roho ambaye na uko na mwili na uko na nafsi. Hello? Hello. You are three in one. Wewe ni utatu. Now, when you wake up your soul, wakati unaamsha nafsi. Ninazunguza soul yako ama nafsi yako. So your soul, ndio nakuonesha mimi napenda speaker kama hii. It also shows you that I love such type of a speaker. Ndani ya nafsi yako ndio unakuwa na mawazo mabaya ama mawazo mazuri. In your, soul, in your soul is where you, you hold the Ndani ya nafsi yako ndio unachukia watu. Of you, it's why you hate people ama unapenda watu or you love them. Ndani ya nafsi yako ndio unajua kitu gani unataka. It's in your soul that you know what you want. It's not about God, it's about you. So every muslim mungu vinakuhusu wewe. Vitu ambavyo unataka wewe. The things and when you are so you wake up your soul. So wakati unaamsha nafsi. It means you know what you want. Na maanisha unajua unachokitaka. In other words you know what you will go for. Unajua utaa ute. Are you understanding? Now your heart so uh nafsi your heart roho is it's a place where god communicates to you it's a, it's, it's a place where god influences your life now it's a place where god gives you inspiration na anakupatia anakupatia inspiration it's a place where god reveals to you things na anadhirisha mambo anakuonyesha mambo those three areas 
So sehemu hizi tatu must be involved for you to see change in your situation. Lazima ya usike ndipo so uone mabadiliko. Your heart connects you to God. Roho yako imeshikanishwa na Mungu. Your heart connects you to the divinity. Inakushikanisha na uungu. Your heart connects you to uh, to power. Inakushikanisha na nguvu which cannot be stopped. Ambaye haiwezi ikasimamishwa. You get an inspiration from God. Unapata inspiration kutoka kwa Mungu. You get a revelation from God. Unapata ufunuo. This is the plan of God for me. Haya ndio This is the will of God for me. Haya ndio mapenzi ya Mungu kwangu. In your soul katika nafsi. This is my agenda. Hii ndio agenda yangu. This is the house I want to build. Hii ndio nyumba nataka kujenga. This is the family I want to own. Hii ndio familia nataka kuwa nayo. This is the car I want to uh, to own. Hii ndio gari nataka kukuwa nayo. Now in your mind, so katika wa, ma, 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 akili yako, you are working to reach where you have saw you, you have seen yourself. Sorry. In your mind, katika akili yako, you are working unafanya kazi to get what you have in your soul. Kupata kile ambacho unacho katika nafsi. Nimezungumza hivi. I'm saying this. Ndani ya nafsi yako in your soul ndio matamanio yako iko. That's where desires are. Ndani ya roho yako in your heart ndio mahali Mungu ana influence maisha yako. Uh, in your spirit that hapo uh, ndio Mungu anaathiri maisha. Ndio mahali Mungu anajifunua wewe ni nani. It's where God reveals to you who you, you Because are. Because dunia kuna gisi inakuchua. Because there is how the world know you. Kuna gisi watu wanakutambua wewe. There is how people know you. Na gisi Mungu anakuchua wewe. Then there is how God knows you. Kuna gisi Mungu anakuita uwe wewe. There is how God has na kuna gisi dunia inakuona wewe. And there is how the world perceives you. Ndani ya roho yako Mungu anakuelesha wewe ni nani? In your heart God speaks to you. Of Ndani ya roho yako Mungu ameachilia nguvu zake huko. He releases his power in you so that hiyo matamanio unayo ndani ya nafsi yako so that the desires in the soul ikamilike will be met ndani ya akili yako so in your mind unafikiria namna gani nitafikia baraka hizo you think of how am i going to attain kitu gani nitafanya ili nibadilishe hii hali what will i do to change the situation hello hello hizo maeneo tatu ni lazima zifanywe so the three dimension have to be worked on na ndio tunaona text ambayo tumesoma in Luke chapter 5 so in the text of Luke 5 verse 18 to 20 kuminanane hadi 20 hawa watu wamekuwa na ndugu yao ambao ni mgonjwa so these people they have their lame brother na wanachuia kwamba Yesu ako mchini and they know that Jesus is in the city na wakachuia kwamba Yesu anaweza kuponya mtu wetu and that he can heal our brother Hello? Hello. But wakati wanakuja na mtu na mgonjwa wao kweni So when they came with their sick person wanafika mahali Yesu yuko pamezingirwa. So they so they could reach a place where now Jesus is being surrounded. But these people they knew what they wanted. Lakini watu walijua walichokitaka. Walijua kitu ambacho wanaendea. So they knew what they're going for. They didn't go to see Jesus to be consoled. Hawakwenda kumuona Yesu ndipo so watike moyo. But they went to see Jesus for the healing. Walienda kumuona Yesu kwa sababu ya uponyaji. They went to see Jesus for a miracle. Kwa sababu ya mujiza. They went to see Jesus for the change in the life of the, of this lemma. Walienda kumuona Yesu kwa sababu ya mabadiliko ya mgonjwa huyu wao. They didn't went to see Jesus for sympathy. No no no. Hawakumwendea Yesu kwa huruma. But they went there for a miracle. Walimwendea kwa sababu ya muujiza. Because when you know what you want, kwa sababu ukijua unachokitaka, and you know I'm able to get it. Na unajua naweza nikakipata. I'm tired with this condition. Nimechoka na hali. I'm tired with this 
problem I want sense when you know what you want there is no limitation in your way because I gave you this example last time when you see yourself let's take example after five months you see yourself you are married you have a good house and those stuffs which you want when you see yourself in certain way so ukijiona kwa njia fulani and you look yourself the way you are now kisha ujitazame sasa ulivyo your mind mawazo yako your soul na, na nafsi yako your heart na moyo wako will be where you have see yourself smarter vitakuwa pale ambapo umejiona vizuri where you have seen yourself it means you may be living here in Kawangwari. When you have saw yourself in, in, in Kilimani, you see the better life which you are living there. Your mind is no longer here. Your heart is no longer here in suffering. Your heart is no longer here in suffering. But your heart, your soul, your mind it has shifted to Kilimani because you don't want this life you want the life which you have so, you so somewhere hello hello when your mind has shifted wakati mawazo yako yameshaama where you see yourself better than the way you are huh? pale ambapo umejiona bora zaidi ya ulipokuwa you will do everything which is possible so utafanya vyote viwezekanavyo to live the life which is you saw the other side uishi maisha ambayo umeona upande ule mwingine tunaelewa now we together umepata ndoto usiku umelala you you had a dream in the night umepata maisha yako umebadilika you are flying you are living maisha ya ajabu you are seeing that you are living a good life then unamuka asubuhi unachipata umelalia kwa hiyo carton then you wake up in the morning you are sleeping are you enjoying this carton je una je unafurahia hiyo carton unaweza unafurahi are you happy unasikia vibaya sana you, you feel so akili yako yote maisha yako inakuwa hiyo na thamani hiyo maisha because now everything now, about this is that people who brought their sigma the lemma man so how watu ambao walimleta ndugu yao mgonjwa walikuwa tayari wameona uponyaji kwa kusikia Yesu ako mjini Jesus was in the city kwa kupata habari Yesu ako mjini to get the news that Jesus was in the city uponyaji ya ndugu yetu imefika they knew that the healing of a brother is near hawakuwa na muona tena mlemavu pastor they didn't see him as a lemma so wakumuona tena kama kama kiwete but waliona ya kwamba mtu wetu amepona tayari they saw him as a healed man kwa sababu na Yesu hakuna kisichowezekana oh Jesus nothing is impossible kama Yesu ako shekina sahihi Jesus is in shekina ndugu yetu amepona tayari our brothers are ready yake ime, imeisha tayari everything is already Jesus amekuwa akitopa damu miaka mingi matter on for how long shall it be this Yesu yuko hapa problem imeisha he is bringing the problem is solved ndani ya mawazo ya watu waliona uponyaji tayari in the mind they saw the healing waliona uponyaji tayari they saw the healing waliona ndugu yao akitembea peke yake they saw their brother walking by himself akijifanyia kazi peke yake walking by himself that is the image ambayo walikuwa nayo tayari si ndio hiyo uh, ndio picha ambayo walikuwa nayo and they could not allow any situation so hawangi kubali hali yoyote ile to let them go back with their friends their brother akiwa kilemavu mlemavu kuwafanya warudi na ndugu yake bado akiwa amelema are you getting me church amen walikuwa tayari wameona ndugu yetu na anatembea 
So they saw the brother walking. He is well. That's the image walikuwa nayo. Hiyo ndio picha ambayo walikuwa. Kama yes yuko hapa. Jesus is Kama yes ni yule chana leo milele hapa. Kama yes yuko hapa maisha yangu inabadilika. My life will change. Sikubali kurudi nyumbani kwangu kisi nilikuja. I won't go back the way I came. Atutarudi na huyu mgonjwa gisi tulikuja naye. He shall not go back with the same. Atarudi akitembea peke yake. He shall go back walking. Haya doshi. Yes, That's what they saw. Our brother is So when they came to a point where Jesus was, the place was over, overcrowded. They could not access any door. They could not access any door. They could not reach where Jesus was. And they knew. It will meet Jesus. This lame man will walk on his feet. And we are not ready to go back with him the way we brought him. He must be healed today. No situation will block us. No condition will stop us. This man must go back walking on his feet. Because they had on what an image of this man walking himself. Because they knew who Jesus is. They knew the power of Jesus. And when they reached there, na wakati walifika hapo, the place is overcrowded. Mahali hapo palikuwa pame There's no way we can access Jesus. Hakuna jinsi tungemfikia Yesu. They have faith in their hearts. Walikuwa na imani katika mioyo yao. Jesus is the healer. Yesu ndio mponyaji. Jesus is a miracle working God. Yeye ni mtenda muujiza. Remember I've say these three areas must be involved. Sehemu hizi tatu lazima zihusishwe. In their soul. Katika nafsi we want healing. Tunahitaji we want miracle. Tunahitaji muujiza. In their hearts katika roho they have faith in Jesus wako na imani ndani ya Kristo when Jesus will come wakati Yesu atakapokuja he will heal his people ataponya watu wake because faith is in your hearts so imani iko ndani ya roho faith come by hearing imani yaje kwa kusikia now mind must be at work so lazima mawazo pia yakuwe katika kazi There's no way we can access Jesus. Hakuna jinsi tutamfikia Yesu. Now the mind starts working. So mawazo yakaanza kufanya kazi. How can we meet him? What can we do now? Tufanyaje? They climb on the roof of the house. Wakapanda kwenye pala nyumba. They climb the house where Jesus was in. Wakapanda juu ya nyumba ambayo Yesu alikuwa ndani. The capacity the power of thinking. Nguvu za kuwaza. To change your situation. Kubadilisha hali. Kuda shadai. The power of thinking in their minds. Nguvu ya kufikiria katika mawazo. We cannot access this door. Hatuwezi tukafikia mlango huu. Let us climb in the house. Acha tupande juu ya pa. Let us remove the roof. Acha tunoe pa. And let us lower our sick man down Acha there. Acha tumteremshie. This is the work of mind. Ni kazi ya mawazo. Ya akili. Ya akili. But some of us so uh, wengine wetu Since you gave your life to Christ, kwanza si kuliko koka. You don't use your mind anymore. Utumii tena akili yako. If your mind are not needed, kama mawazo yako kama akili yako hainge The day you gave Jesus your life, siku uliyompatia Yesu maisha, he could 
take your pain out angetoa akili yako and leave you depend on the spirit kisha kuacha ukitegemea tu roho everything in your life kila kitu katika maisha you are waiting god to do it unataka mungu kufanyie the bible doesn't say biblia haisemi these people who brought this lame man they got a revelation walipata ufunuo The Bible doesn't say the angels sent to them. Aha, Biblia inasema malaika aliwatokea and tell them claim the house. Akwambia pandeni nyumba. Remove the, the roof. Toa pa. They used their minds. Walitumia akili yao. They used their brain. Walitumia mawazo yao. Not everything oh, a prophet to speak to me. Nataka nabii anizungumzie. There are things which need the spirit of God. Kuna vitu ambavyo vinahitaji roho wa Mungu. And there are things which needs you. Na kuna vitu ambavyo vinakuhitaji. These people climb on top of the roof. Au watu wakapanda juu ya paa. Pose the power of positive decision. Nguvu ya kufikiria ama nguvu ya And they removed the, the, the iron sheet. Na wakatoa mabati because they knew what they wanted what do you want in your life what do you want what you want to see in your life what is the step which you have taken ni hatua gani you are waiting god to do. god will not do everything for you there are things which you have to do by yourself kuna vitu lazima ujifanyie you are mine they remove the iron sheets wakatoa pa and they lower their sick in front of jesus na wakamteremsha mgonjwa mbele ya yesu when jesus saw them wakati yesu aliwaona i've never seen a faith like this masijawaiona imani kama your sin are forgiven dhambi zako zimesamehewa and the lame man was healed na yule mponzi akapata uponyaji he got a miracle alipata muujiza they had faith walikuwa na imani they knew what they wanted in their soul walijua walichokihitaji katika nafsi and they used their mind na wakatumia akili zao praise be the name of jesus bwana asifiwe let me give you an, an example acha nikupatie mfano which i've given in another day in this place mama angel is she's a tailor mama angel ni ni ni, ni fundi wa kushona na nguo and god has spoken to us na mungu ametuzungumzia 2022 is the year of glory to glory. Mwaka huu ni mwaka wa utukufu hadi mwingine. It means God is taking us to higher levels. Na Mungu anatupeleka katika nyadhifa zingine. She is a tailor, yeye ni mshonaji. But her products, lakini bidhaa zake is consumed only with the people of Shekina. Bidhaa zake zinatumiwa tu na watu wa Shekina. Because it's only the people of Shekina, kwa sababu ni watu wa Shekina she can access ambao anaweza kafikia and to take measurements na achukue vipimo na kuwashonea nguo and then to so, to sew for them are we together mama angel ana uwezo ya kufikia lois anachukua kipimo kwake anamchonea so she can think that this is louis let me take a measurement because uh, ndio customer wake ni sisi peke yetu because we are the customers from mama angel from mama angel to go to glory to glory aende utukufu hadi mwingine what she must do kile ambacho lazima afanye ni lazima aanze kushona vitu she has to start sorting things ambavyo vinaweza kukubalika kwa maeneo yote that can be accessed in all dimensions ni lazima awe na trademark yake lazima akuwe na trademark ni lazima aweke lebo ndani ya nguo zake. Put a label in her clothes. Sitaji nitoke USA. I don't need to come from US. Mama Angel anipime nguo hapa. Mama Angel to take some measures. Ndio anishone. For her to Lakini akianza kuweka lebo ndani ya nguo yake. She puts a label in her clothing. Ambao inaonesha mtu wa kipimo fulani anaweza kuvaa That shows a person of this size can put. Her product will itafikia watu wote. The product is going to reach to everyone. Haitaji kukupima kusudi ya shona. She doesn't need to measure you for her to Atashona nguo zake vizuri ikiwa na trademark yake. She, she's going to do her clothing well with that. Na anaweka label ndani ya nguo yake. Put the label. Kila nguo ambayo unavaa hapa ina label ndani. 
every cloth you put inaonesha hii material au pashe kuipiga pasi kiwango cha moto fulani this, ma- this material cannot be be ironed hii shati ni lazima ikioshwa kwa mashini ni lazima utumiwe kiwango fulani it's a post these, these these are the types of things ningu au pashe ku wakati unayosha uikunje kunje you're not supposed to fold it those things are written in that label huko ndani vimeandikwa kwa ndani why wanaweka hiyo why do they put kusudi hiyo product unanunua isiharibike so that it may not be served so it may serve you unajua ni ni temperature gani uta uta iron hiyo nguo unajua unatumia moto kiwango kusudi usiharibu so that it may not when anaweka hiyo label ndani ya nguo ya vitu vyake so when you put your vinaweza kuenda duniani nzima vitakubalika they can be supplied everyone they are going to be accepted i give another example in this place nikatoa mfano mwingine You are making uh, peanut butter. Labda una uh, unafanya peanut butter. Hii inaitwa nini? What is that? Peanut butter kwa Kiswahili hiyo ka njugu wanakaranga wanaswaga wanaweka kwa chupa hiyo unapaka kwa mkate. Njugu. You are making your pipe uh, peanut butter. Unafanya njugu ya kusiaga. As tuko tunaona mahali poto wanastengeneza. Sisi tunavyoona. Me myself I cannot consume any of those. Mimi nasema uh, I'm saying that I cannot just buy any. Kwa sababu I don't know wametumia vitu gani wameweka ndani ya hiyo peanut butter ya. I don't know what is in the peanut. Unanielewa? Can you take that peanut butter without any label and take it to supermarket? Je, unazoka chukua peanut yenye haina label yoyote upeleke supermarket? It's only people who knows you ni watu ambao wanakujua tu will consume your product ambao watakununulia. It means you are limited. Tunamaanisha ume uko na mipaka. But if I want to go to glory to glory, nitakwenda tukufa hadi mwingine. If I want to experience growth in my work in my business, kushuhudia ukomavu, I have to put a label on my peanut peanut butter. Lazima niweke chapisho. Nimeweka kiwango ya chumvi fulani kwa hii peanut yangu. This has this amount of salt. Nimeweka mafuta kiwango fulani. It has this th- this amount of oil. Muna iron kiwango fulani. Kuna there is some iron sodium there. sodium kiwango fulani. Iko na sodium kiwango fulani. When unaonesha vitu viko ndani ya products ya. So when you show the ingredients. Now you can take it to supermarket. So they pick at the supermarket. Kuna mtu hapashi kutumia chumvi sana. There are people don't use Atangalia a hicho viko nyingi. Hii saa unaweza kutumia. This one Na your products so be that will go to international markets. Zitafika katika uh, soko ya kita, ya kitaifa. Ana mtu anaelewa? Nini unafanya kazi? Your mind. The mind working. I'm tired to have just local clients. Nimechoka tu kukuwa na Uh, soko ya lo, ya ya mjini tunataka kufika Uganda nataka vitu vya vyo supply Tanzania viende Africa viende mahali pote want my, 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 my stuff to be supplied everywhere you have to use your Lazma mind to me akili pana mtu ananyelewa he understanding wewe well, tuizo na peanut butter zako hakuna label kwazo wewe oh, mimi nimeo kazi natengeneza vitu nzuri sina watu msione customer Mungu alizunguza nitaenda kwa na hii customer nipeleka mbali itakupeleka namna gani haijulikani imetengenezwa na nani it's not known who made it your product haiko uh, wanasema kuwa satisfied watu hawakule tu vitu hivyo people don't just take things kuna watu watakula kila kitu there are people that can take anything Kenda kikomba, ukienda ndandoro, ukienda wapi, ukienda kayole, kila watu watakula tu. The people that can take anything. Lakini ukitafuta kufikia watu wote. If want to get to everyone. Kuna watu wanaangalia, hii bidhaa imekubalika, iko satisfied ya kwamba iko bora kwa matumizi. The them that are going to see. Kama hajaona hiyo logo ya kuonesha kwamba iko satisfied, imekubalika, hawezi kununua hiyo kitu yako. So if so there's, there's some people and they you will remain local. So ina maisha ya utabaki tu. But when you work on your mind lakini ukifanya kazi akili zako hiyo kazi itafikia dunia nzima that work will go everywhere hiyo sababu hata kwa chupa ya maji hapa yeah, this bottle of water ukiangalia hii chupa ya maji if you, if you look at it wana connect ingredients siko kwa hii maji they are they have written the ingredients in the water ndio ikubalike so it may be accepted so kila mtu ataenda tu kwa mfereji tu na chota maji ana hapana sio kila mtu just go to the tap anapasha ajio hii maji imetengenezwa na nani there are people want to know where was it where did it come from na vitu gani iko ndani hema imepitia process gani na what process has it gone through just about kwa hii maji kusoma vizuri na kuonesha ilipitia process gani 
for it to be labeled like that means it went through a certain process use your mind tumia akili hello are we together amen ask your neighbor are you using your mind on your products or you are praying in tongues kira pato sutale brakata la badosia sio mambo ya ndimi sio kila kitu sio ndimi not everything is tongues hata usimuse kwa ndimi even though you speak in tongues macho yangu inachiwa kitu kizuri na kitu kibaya my eyes knows what is good ama namna gani ama wale wafunza huko kwa monitor kwamba ukinena kwa ndimi inafanya mtu asione vitu vizuri apende vyako hakuna kitu kama hii no Meka dusha tabrakata na badosia ikadala ba nimaitisha what hawata kuja hapo you have to boresha vitaya you have to use your mind tengeneza mahali unafanya business yako fanya power smart bafanane vizuri ah it well let let it look good know how to label kitu yako ivutie are we together church mind mawazo anus nimekanyanga maombi usiku mzima nimewafunga macho hautufunge macho mimi najua kitu mzuri nikiona kitu mzuri hapa ndasema haleluya brother manuse how are you isalimi eh naona leo haukuleta vitu huyu mzako ameleta vitu vizuri i see your brother's brother hapo nauza je how much is this huyu ndugu acha ukoka ameniacha mimi anaununulia muislamu sio mambo ya uislamu hii huyu ana vidhaa nzuri yako ni mbaya he has good and you have the bad ones people they don't make it in life by on masses of people watu wafaulu kwa sababu ya kuhurumiwa na wengine wao wanakunulia vitu juju wanakuhurumia wanakusikilia wao they buy from me because they pity you you have to use your mind lazima utumie akili do you want to grow your business unataka ku kuboresha biashara yako do you want to grow your company unataka kuboresha kama use your mind lazima tumie akili yako kuboresha vitu yako So Tell your neighbor be smart. smart. Be smart in whatever you are doing. Atutakucha kwa duka yako kwa sababu imeandikwa the glory is here, the anointing is here. The 24 elders wako atutakucha hapo. Ndio sababu unaona duka za Waislamu watu wanaingia tu. Kwa sababu wanatengeneza vitu yao vizuri. They put their things well. Kuna harufu kubwa ya udi lakini unaingia tu. Kwa sababu they know how to make their things. They smelling but you just get in. You are just talking in tongues but malipako ni papaya hapana usuri hapavutii You are speaking in tongues but your place is untidy Use your mind Tumia akili If you want to upgrade your life ukitakuwa kuinua maisha yako If you want to be accepted with, with everybody ukitakuwa kubalika na kila mtu Be smart in whatever you are doing Kuwa smart wa chochote mbali Even those who hate you hata wanaokuchukia they will buy your products watanunua bidhaa zako Even the people who hate you. Hata watu wanaokuchukia. Hawana choice watanunua tu vitu vyako. They are going to buy your things. Because you are quality, you use your mind. Mm, Praise be the name of Jesus. Nimezungumzia yeah. mind, spoken of and the soul, words, nafsi and heart. Na roho. Praise be the name of Jesus. Amen. You know when you don't work on those areas so I can't you fanyi kazi maeneo haya matatu you are soul nafsi yako to specify ku kutofia those all those agaltotos they disappeared akajipata analisha nguruwe na natirisha myself eating together with the pigs hiyo ilikuwa ni uamuzi tu all those were that's just this remember place. last Sunday I gave you an example nikupatia uh, mfano mama mocha amezaa watoto wawili anawapenda wote anawasomesha wote anawatuma kwa shule over mother gave birth to two umocha ameamua kuvuta bangi na kuishia kwa streets one decided to go in the streets because na nikazunguza kile kinakukua kwa streets kwa, kwa streets sio mwisho wa maisha yake so being in the streets is, uh, is not the end of it yuko kwa streets kwa sababu ya chaguo ambao alichagua is in the street because he decided akichukua chaguo nyingine atatoka kwa streets he decided to take another decision is going to yule msana yuko koinange The, the woman in, uh, in, uh, in Koinange siko sababu si kwa sababu amejipata tu ni chaguo aliamua she not just find herself she lakini decided. anaweza kuchukua chaguo nyingine she can change her decision na atatoka Koinange na akuwe mke anaheshimika come out out akuwe mke ambao ana familia yake to be a wife that has a family 
It's a matter of decision. Inahusu uamuzi. And prodigal son akachipata anateseka. Na mwana mpotevi got himself suffering. Akawa asafara. Akakuwa mtu wa kuteseka. Mimi nasema akakelela. Akeleli ama wanasema kani? Akeleli. <laughs> Amekuwa huko malaki amechapa. Ame mhm. Ame Mjama akachapa and the guy was the second thought came now to his mind so akajiregelea katika mawazo eh hey, uko mimi nachapia huku akasema where am suffering lakini kwa baba yangu in my father's house wafanyakazi wake wako vizuri kuniliko even the servants look good more than me niko hapa i'm here so nilia dambani na baba yangu because i went far from the father whatever god gives you Chochote Mungu anakupatia. Whatever was given to you through prayer. Chochote ulichopatiwa kwa maombi. It protected through prayer. Kinalindwa na maombi. The prodigal son went before his father. So akamwendea baba. Dad, I, I, I give me my share. Asa nipatie sehemu yangu. The same when you go before God. Jesus unavomwendea Mungu. Baba nahitaji hiyo kitu fulani, nahitaji hiyo nyumba, nahitaji hiyo ndoa, nahitaji hiyo mtoto, nahitaji hiyo kazi, nahitaji hiyo ofisi. God I need that man, I need that house, I need that child, I need that office. And when you get it, na wakati unaipata, you disappear. Unapotea. Where are you? Uko wapi? I am busy pasi. Pasi tuko tumeshikana. In our day, kazi imetushika sana. We are so tied up with work. Mseri uko wapi sikuone kanisani? Where are you? We can't see in church. Kama uko wapi sikuone tena? Where are you? We can't see you. Sadaka yako usione tena. Can see your offering. Fungo ya 10 sione uko wapi? See the tithe. Where are you? Mseri apokeshi mtena. Mseri cannot receive the calls again. Mseri aonekane tena. She is not to be found. After receiving from his father, after receiving kutoka kwa baba, he went far from his father. Akamuondokea mbali. He separated himself from, from his father. Akajitenga mbali na babake. Now all the Jezebels, so the Jezebels, all the Delilahs, the Delilahs, akaja. And then they came. They scorned everything. Wakarib vyote. Hello? Whatever was given to you kupitia maombi, whatever you were given via prayer, chochote umepokea kupitia maombi kinalindwa na maombi kinalindwa na kwa uwepo ya huyo Mungu wakati mwana mpotevu alienda mbali na baba yake kila kitu kaisha when the prodigal went away from the father the second thought came wakati wazo la pili lilikuja nikirudi kwa huyo baba when i go back to my father nimekosea Mungu aliyechu i have sinned against na nimekosea baba yangu i've sinned against my father acha tu niende let me just go nitamweleza sister ili kuwa mtoto wako tena unifanye niwe mmoja wa wafanyakazi just make me one of your servants moyo ya baba ni kubwa sana the heart of the father is huge when you take a positive decision wakati unachukua muzi lilo bora you have lost everything umepoteza kila kitu you have lost many years you have umepoteza miaka mingi in the world katika dunia they have misused you wamekutumia vibaya and your life has no value na maisha yako hayana tena thamana The world has misused you. The dunia imeku misuse. The world has uh, imekutumia vibaya, imekuaibisha. The world has ashamed you. It has misused you. You have nothing to show up. Unacha kuonyesha. But if you take a positive decision, kama utachukua muzi lilisa. I will go back to my maker. Nitamregelea. I will go back to my father. Nitamrudilia Mungu wangu. I shall go back. God will give you a second chance. Going to give you a second chance. When the prodigal son went to his father, wakati mwana mpotevu alimrudilia babake, he was welcomed by his father. Alikaribishwa. And the father made us uh, uh, another covenant with him. Na baba akafanya agano nyingine pamoja naye. Akampea pete nyingine. He gave him another ring. Nguo mpya. And he gave him an, na another ring kafanyika. And there was a celebration. Sijui umepotelea wapi. I don't know where you have lost. Sijui kwa shimo gani umeenda. I don't know in what pit. Umeteseka tu lakini uko na roho ngumu tu. You have suffered but you are. Unajua pana watu wanateseka lakini wako na roho ngumu tu. There are some people that are suffering but wataniona je? How will they Watasema say? nini kunihusu? What will they say? It's better to nibaki mwaima teso. It's good I remain here. Nilitoka niko smart, nimerudi nimekwisha. I came out smart now I've been beaten up. 
Anateseka, anajua, anateseka. There are people who are suffering no I've gone through heavy things and you know the reason of your suffering the prodigal son did not wait for the he shall go the and the father receives I don't know what corner I don't know what type of a life I don't know what is I don't know where to die Jesus is calling you. If you die, they are going to go to hell. Jesus is calling you. Why are you allowing yourself to suffer? Why live a life? Why eat what you not deserve to eat? You're not the life which you used to live. Unajua maisha ulikuwa ukiishi mbele wakati una Mungu. Unajua maisha that wakati ulipenda Mungu unajua namna gani kazi yako ilikuwa na aina. Wakati ulikuwa unamtumikia Mungu unajua namna gani biashara yako ilikuwa inafanya. Wakati ulikuwa maminifu kwa matoleo yako na fungo ya kumi unajua namna gani Mungu alikuwa akubariki. Why are you continuing to lose and lose? Mbona uendelee kupoteza? The prodigal son, he, he made a positive decision. Your life, maisha yako, your condition, hali yako, will not change because you associate yourself. Ita badli kwa sababu na jihusisha with the anointed people. Na watu waleo pakwa mafuta. Listen these statements. Skia. Statement. Your condition, your life, maisha yako mahali yako will not change. Haitabadilika because you associate yourself kwa sababu unajihusisha with anointed people na watu walio pako mafuta and anointed places. Na anointed places. Na mahali patakatifu. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. Maisha yako, hali yako, your situation and life haibadiliki will not change kwa sababu uko karibu na watu ambao wana mafuta ya Mungu just because you are near people that have the anointing of god ama uko mahali ambapo ni mahali patakatifu or, mahali pa ambapo we, Mungu yuko or you are in a place of holiness or where god is but your life your situation change your life will change because you take action kwa sababu unachukua uamuzi vis-a-vis to the anointed people watu kupitia wapakali wa mafuta wa Mungu or anointed place na ma- mahali patakatifu mnanipata you understanding maisha yetu haibadiliki hali zetu hazibadiliki your life will not change or your situation kwa sababu wewe ni rafiki ya bishop fulani because you are a friend to a certain bishop kwa sababu unaendaka kwa hiyo temple fulani because you go to that temple your life change maisha yako yatabadilika when you take an action wakati unachukua uamuzi to anointed people kwa watu waliopaka mafuta or to anointed places kama kwa mahali patakatifu unanielewa are you understanding the life of root maisha ya ruth didn't change ayakubadilika because she was with naomi kwa sababu alikuwa na naomi but because she took action lakini kwa sababu alichukua chaguo she made a covenant akafanya uh, akafanya covenant your god will be my god mungu wako atakuwa mungu your wangu. people will be my people watu wako watakuwa watu where you will die i will die atakapokufa nitafia he made a covenant alifanya agano she rejected their gods akakataa miungu yao and she embraced the god of naomi na akamkumbatia mungu wa naomi if it was by association kama ilikuwa ni kwa uhusiano even opa ata opa she could be found somewhere in the bible angepatikana sehemu katika biblia she could be named somewhere in the bible angebaki mahali fulani katika biblia because she walked with naomi alitembea na naomi but her life didn't change lakini maisha yake yakubadilika the same we can see in the life of elijah and elisha 
katika maisha ya about to finish just few minutes katika maisha elia na elisha when Eli- elijah was about to be taken wakati El- uh, 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 Elia alikuwa anataka kuchukuliwa. He ask Elisha to, to remain somewhere. Akamwambia Elisha baki hapa. But Elisha responded to him. But Elisha aka akamjibu, where you will be? Pale ambapo utakuwa, I will be. Hapo ndio nitakuwa. In another occasion again uh, Elijah tells him. Na pale pengine pia uh, Elia anamwambia, stay here God is sending him somewhere. Baki hapa Mungu ananituma mahali fulani. He respond no 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 where you will be I will be there. Kaambia no papa popote utakapokuwa nitakuwa hapo. Until they met the sons of prophets. Hadi wakapatana na wana wa manabii. And the sons of prophet spoke to Elisha. Na wana wa manabii wakamzungumzia Elia. Do you know? Je unajua? Your master is about to be taken. Kwamba master karibu kuchukuliwa. Yes I know. Kaambia ndio unajua. Mwangalie manaki wakati Elijah alikuwa anazungumzia Elisha baki hapa mimi naenda mahali fulani alikuwa anataka kumuhepa wakati Elia alimzungumzia Elisha alikuwa anataka kumtoroka tu alikuwa anajua Mungu anataka kumchukua he knew God wants to take him na huyu Elisha alikuwa mtumishi wa Elijah na ya Elisha alikuwa mtumishi wa Elia alikuwa ameacha mambo yote he had left everything lakini nakwambia mimi sitabaki so I won't stay here. Na wakati Elijah alifika mahali akaona jinsi mjama amejitolea kwake. So when he saw the dedication of this guy, akamuliza unataka kitu gani? He said what do you want? Akamuliza nataka the double anointing. Kama nataka mara mbili ya ulicho nacho. Nataka upako mara mbili ya ile iko juu yako. So I want anointing akamwambia umeomba kitu ngumu sana so lakini ukiniona wakati nataka kuchukuliwa utaipokea na kaendelea kumfuata akaendelea kumfuata elaja akachukua koti yake akapiga kwenye maji maji kafunguka wakavuka elaja took his coat and hid the water akaendelea and they continued elaja akachukuliwa and, uh, and, uh, and elijah was taken na koti kanguka chini robe dropped akachukua hiyo koti ya elijah he took the robe for elijah mungu wa elijah yuko wapi where is the god of elijah akaipiga kwenye maji maji ikafunguka and the water separated elisha kavuka and elisha crossed watu wakaona elisha and people saw elisha wakasema roho ya elijah see and the spirit of elijah iko juu ya elisha sasa is upon elisha hello ni kwa sababu alijitoa cause he dedicated himself hakupata upako mara mbili iliyokuwa juu ya Elijah did not get a double portion kwa sababu alikuwa tu akimfuata because he was just following kwa sababu alikuwa pamoja naye lakini kwa sababu alijitolea he offered himself watu wa Mungu maisha yetu hali zetu our lives our situation haziwezi kubadilika cannot change mpaka tunapojitolea until we offer ourselves mpaka wakati akili zetu until our minds nafsi zetu and our soul mioyo yetu and our uh, and our soul yanajua vitu ambavyo tunatamani knows what it needs ndipo tutaona mabadiliko katika maisha yetu then we shall see changes in our life nataka inamisha kichwa chako bow down your hand